Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'da habita fillah Many women unfortunately experience abuse from their husbands And abuse can come in generally one of two ways the first way being through verbal or a, a verbal abuse. Maybe by yelling, attacking her character, uh, harassing her, uh, never being pleased with her and always making her feel belittled. The second way is through physical abuse. And of course, this is the well-known form of abuse, which comes through physical beatings, also through humili uh, humiliation physically, uh, choking, all of the other ways in which a man can abuse a woman. Islam teaches us, as the Prophet ﷺ said, I am the best of those to the women. Or be good to the women, and I am the best of those to the women. Or what means, uh, this is the general meaning of the hadith of the Prophet wasallam, Letting us know that our sunnah, our way, our methodology, is a methodology of mercy. And it should be the mercy and the muhabba and the muadda that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has established between the spouses, between the husband and the wife. That they should have... They should be a mercy for one another. They should be a comfort and a support for one another. They should not be, it should not be a battlefield when people, when the man comes home from his work or if he's unemployed or whatever the case may be, it should not be a battlefield. Their home should be a place of comfort. This is what Islam teaches us. This is what the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam establishes for us. So it's very important for us to implement the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ and be kind and gentle towards one another. So what should the woman who's abused do? For one, it's very important if she is being abused before it escalates. And we're talking about especially physical abuse. We're not talking about some random act of discipline or whatever the case may be but we're talking about actual physical abuse that this is something that is recurring or it is something which is life-threatening or it seems it could escalate something dangerous in this case the woman should seek help and support if she has supportive family members that can hopefully sit with uh, her husband then this is beautiful if not if they can get counseling from the imam of the local community, then this is also khair, this is also good. If the situation warrants and it becomes absolutely necessary that there's no one from the community and she has no family, she has no support to help her and assist her in these things, then it may become necessary for her to go to law enforcement. If it becomes a case where she is fearful of her life. She is being harmed. She's being beaten. Because this is the way of those people who don't believe. That's their sunnah. Those people who disbelieve in Allah and don't fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are the ones who are abusive towards the women. But the mu'min, the Muslim, the believer, the one who is building his deen upon rahmah and khair, and everything from the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will see that the Messenger alayhi salatu wasalam, did not hit women. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, was the most merciful to women. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, answered the questions of women. He spoke and interacted with his wives, whatever their needs, and the needs of the women in the community, of course, for fatwa, for, for what they needed when they had questions. Ya Rasulullah, in Allah la yastahi min al O Messenger of Allah, verily Allah is not shy of the truth. 
when 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 uh, the Sahabiya when she had the a question for the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam about uh, wet dreams, she asked him alayhi salatu wasalam. So it shows us the importance of how we deal with one another. That it is that marriage is a relationship and a bond of mercy, and that Islam calls us to mercy, and that Allah subhanahu wa taala put khair and everything merciful and everything gentle. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be of those who are gentle and righteous and merciful. And anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.